All right, so we got Team Fred. Uh, mostly from Chicago. What's Fred stand for? Uh, fucking rear engine device. Yeah, something like that. Uh, it's front uh, rear end device. <laughs> it's a front end rear device. Yeah. Front end rear, rear device. device. That's not what it is. But it's That's something. Right. We don't need to know. <laughs> gotcha. Well, but uh, it's uh, Caboose is a brewery that sponsored us, and so it was Fred. It's something to do, you know, with the the flashing device in the caboose. Uh, uh, that's okay. what that stands for. Anybody gotcha. But well, we're not the original members, so we can't tell you that. But gotcha. <laughs> here's uh, here's an old uh, Chicago Bears bus that was converted over. Uh, we bought this from a guy who used to take it to Bears games in Chicago. Nice. He got tired. Of, I he didn't give up on the Bears, but he got tired of hauling the bus there, and uh, um, I think they got the bus for about twenty five hundred bucks. Nice. So anyway, it's a new addition this year. The awnings. Very cool. Yeah. Working out okay. Yeah, I see these uh, very look very homemade. You guys, <laughs> yeah. some DIY awnings. I like it. We got, yeah, we got uh, DIY everything. You got a lot of guy wires out here. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, uh, make it so people don't get killed in the middle of the night. Yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> but here's the control center. You know, right here is the control center. Mm -hmm. All the controls for the fans and all that stuff here. Uh, this is uh, originally a school bus, obviously, that was converted. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the original school bus seats have been taken out. We have... Uh, front and rear facing seats so people can hold a conversation uh, while we're traveling from the Chicago area to Ragbride. How long of a drive is that? Um, well, uh, they come from uh, Chicago and they meet up in, um, in uh, uh, Davenport, Iowa. Okay. And so there's some people that come from Wisconsin, some from Illinois, and there are some people from Davenport. So we all meet at a dentist's house in Davenport, party on Friday before we go, and Saturday we take off. Nice. So You got your charging stations here? We got uh, three charging stations. We got two Wi-Fi connections. Whoa. Hot spots over here on the windows. The hot we're, spots. They're all cooked up here, ready to go. Nice. Does it work well? Works not really. It's, a, <laughs> you know, cellular. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you get no cell service here. Yeah. We got... Uh, Stuff on the top. People bring their bags and stuff. We store those on the top, strap them down for transportation. Mm -hmm. uh, these seats here were installed this year uh, to allow additional people to uh, ride with us. Mm -hmm. The creme de la creme, obviously, is our bar. Nice. Uh, we took off with ke uh, 10 kegs of beer from various breweries around the Chicago area. Uh, we got two tappers on the inside. And a new addition this year is two tappers that go on the outside. So you can, you know. Got the beer taps outside too. Got the beer taps outside. Inside the bus here we got sleeping quarters for one, two, three. And a fourth person actually does sleep here on the floor. Okay. When he's not sleeping here and we're uh, in transit, everybody has the same size tote. So we can stack 18 totes in this area. And we have uh, 21... 21 bikers. Very cool. You got the uh, privacy curtain. We do have the privacy curtain. We do have, uh, this is a co-ed bus. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes uh, people have to, uh, you know, change. Yeah. When women need to change, they can close the curtain. So you tell me, you started with 10 kegs. How many do you have now? Uh, I think we went, uh, we might only have one or two left. Man, you got two more days left. We got too. two more days left. <laughs> nice. Uh, we also have in the back here... A very emergency commode. I see the five gallon bucket is what that looks like. Well, it is a little bucket, and <laughs> if you'll notice inside, uh. it has a little string unit that will absorb, uh, absorb the moisture. And on the outside, when you leave our bus, if you look in this corner, uh -huh. there's a string hanging down. Uh. Yeah. I don't know about <laughs> that one. That <laughs> really, we don't use it much, but if you know, if you're riding a long time and drinking beer. Yeah. You may need to use the facility. For but, sure. But we, we discourage it, but it's there in emergency. Yeah. Well, thanks for giving me the tour. Okay.